we have clarified that in a twin tube shock absorber, the piston in compression must be softer than the bottom valve in compression because otherwise there will be an oil gap in rebound and it will create noise. This problem, uh, in which cases this problem can occur? The most common problem, the most problem reason of this problem is dirty into the shock absorber. You can have dirt into the shock absorber because during the production has been weld, has not been clean, the oil was dirty, or maybe because during the remanufacturing, some dirty goes into the oil and from the oil arrives to the bottom valve. And when the dirty arrives to the bottom valve, it, remain, it could remain trapped between a shim and the body or another shim and the body. If in this situation, if any dirty trapped in between, the valve remains open. So it's like if you have a huge uh, bleed open, a huge bypass. And in this case, the bottom valve gets softer than the piston in compression. So in this situation, your bottom valve will be softer in compression and the piston in compression. So for sure, your bottom valve will create noise. Another reason why you can have this problem, so the bottom valve in compression gets softer than the piston in compression, is because during the production or the remanufacturing of your shock absorber has been done a mistake. And which kind of mistake has been done? Maybe the calibrator used on the bottom valve was too big in comparison with the calibrator used on the piston. If the calibrator used doing the bottom valve is too big in comparison with the calibrator used making the piston, the bottom valve will be softer in compression than the piston. And we will have again the problem of oil gap and rebound. So how can we fill this problem before closing the shock absorber? There are some the theoretical procedures that allows us to calculate the proper dimension of the calibrator of the bottom valve proportionally to the diameter of the rod and the diameter of the piston. But there are also other procedures much more easier than the formulas. And the procedure at the end is very simple. When you make the remanufacturing of the shock absorber, you have to fill the inner cylinder with the rod in. You, have, you must have the inner cylinder full of oil and the chamber full of oil more or less within the 50% of its height or a little bit more. Then, before closing the shock absorber, you have to look what happens in the shock absorber when you move up and down the road. The right situation is that when you push the rod in, the oil crosses the piston and comes up. So, the right situation is when you push the rod in and the cylinder gets full of oil. In this case, you have the proof that the bottom valve in compression is harder than the piston in compression. But if when you push the rod in, the level of the oil goes down with the piston, 
means that the, that the piston in compression is harder than the bottom valve in compression. And in fact, the oil, instead of crossing the piston, escapes from the bottom valve. So after remanufacturing the shock absorber, after filling the oil, fix the shock absorber on the vise, block with a screwdriver the inner cylinder, move the piston up and down, and look to the oil. If pushing in the rod, the oil goes in, and the means that the piston is too hard in compression. So there is a problem in the bottom valve, probably dirty or probably a wrong uh, calibrator. If the level of the oil remains always on the top, means that there is the proper condition. Sometimes it can happen that the oil goes in little, little bit. If the oil goes in little, little bit, it's not a problem. It's not a problem because when you will, when you will, when you will add the guide, the guide will create, will seal the tube. It will create a sealing, a vacuum, and the vacuum will help the oil to cross the piston. Now, suppose that dismounting the shock absorber, we found a bottom valve like this with dirty. Dirty means, I, 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 did some, I put something big, but dirty means even much smaller, okay? Suppose you find something like this. If you find something like this, you are lucky because you can remove it and you solve the problem, okay? But suppose that you cannot remove the dirty because the dirty is under this washer. You have two possibilities. One possibility is if you have a bottom valve that can be dismounted, you have to dismount it to clean it all components and to close it again. But if the bottom valve cannot be dismounted, you are obliged to dismount it at any cost using the drilling machine or the lathe machine. Okay, and uh, once you have dismount everything, you can close it using one of these kits that you can find in our catalog in the family 21. For more information about these kits, contact Emetech or myself. We have solution for any kind of guide, of bottom valves. But the other solution could be to use a new bottom valve. To use new bottom valves means that you can look to Emetex catalog for new valves made, made with this system. So with translating valve, or with this system, as you prefer. We have in Emetech all the components to make a new bottom valve or to repair the original one. Thank you.